Hi, welcome to this Excel and SQL Server video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to unpivot columns. Therefore, let's get started. Now, to unpivot columns simply means to rotate your data set from columns into rows. So, let's see how to achieve this outcome using Excel and SQL Server. Now, let's see our sample data set. In this data set, we have in column A the account manager and we have the month of January to December with the sales record. Now, the goal is to have three columns. The first column is going to be for account managers, the second one is going to be for the month, and the third column is going to be for the sales amount. Now, to get this done in Excel, we need to format this data as an Excel table. Now, to do that, select a single cell in the data set. And deploy Control T or Control L. I'm going to deploy Control L because they perform the same operation. Now we have this Create Table dialog box, and my table as error has been checked automatically. So I'm going to click on OK, and you can see that this data is now transformed into an Excel table. Now to get this into the Power Query Editor, where we do the on pivoting, I'm going to click on this Data tab or the ribbon. And under the get and transform data group, you have this from sheet. Now, in your own version, you might see from table slash range. They perform the same operation. Now, you can even deploy inside the data set, right click and choose get data from sheet. And that will open the Power Query Editor where we can do the on pivoting. Now, the data is in the Power Query. So, what I'm going to do is to rename the query. So, I'm going to just call it sales underscore data and click enter. Now, because I want to unpivot all this my month, January to December, I'm going to select the first one, which is the account manager. Right click and choose unpivot all the columns. So, when I click on that, absolutely cool. So, I have finished the job. So, we have the account manager in the first column. And then it's going to be when I rename it the months, and then it's going to be you know sales amount column. So we can even just change the data type and let's choose currency. Now we have unpivoted um, our data set, and then we can go ahead and load it into an Excel table. Now just click on close and load. I'm going to click close and load tool, and let's dump it in a new table and a new sheet. Click OK, and then we have the data set properly laid out okay now let's move to the sql we are in the sql server management studio and we have written a simple select all statement from this our sales table and we can see the data set displaying the account manager the month january february to december now i want to rotate this data set so that we can have the account manager the month and the sales that is for the sales amounts now i'm going to start by typing you know select i'm going to say select then inside square brackets i need this account manager field so i'm going to say a double ct managers then close the square brackets and then i'm going to put in a comma now i'm going to give each of these months that is the month of january that's actually on a pivot i have to just type it out one after the other so i'm going to say january january comma february march april may june and let's move to the next line june july August, August, September, October, November, November, and December. Okay, so I have typed out all the name of my in a month. Okay, so I'm going to say from and I'm going to refer to the, of course, the table from sales table. Now, when I select this, I can see that everything is looking good. Now, I'm going to open close parentheses and use another 
open parenthesis because this is going to be a sub query okay so i'm going to just put in one more or two lines and then because i need the account manager and i need the month as well as the sales columns three columns so i'm going to put another select curly brackets so i'm going to say account managers comma and then i need the month okay comma and final i need the sales okay so i'm going to say from and that from is going to work through this sub query so for you i'm going to just use a simple alias let's say special data and after that i need to use the on pivot so then let's move to the second line open another parenthesis now i need this you know sales you know data to come forward so i'm going to say sales and then i'm going to say for months then use in now for months in each of these month of january to december so i'm going to copy this month of january to december control c so that i don't have to type it again control v and then i'm going to close this and i need an alias so i'm going to say final results okay i need to put in as final results now okay let me just close this parenthesis okay let's see okay there is need for one more parenthesis here now you can see that everything is looking good so this is our you know sub query here okay and we use the on pivot and we're saying you know sales for each month in month of january to december and we use final result as alias so this is another query here select statement so let's just grab everything and let's execute by just clicking on this execute bam so we can see that we have the account manager column we have the month column and the sales column now let's just scroll down and see so we have all the abiola david until december okay now when we move to january it's going to display charlie in alphabetical order and after that we have the corner really bit let's just expand this okay we have the corner really bit and so on so we achieve the same outcome you know in excel and sql server let's see the excel results so you can see we have all the month of january for abella david and the photo is um, let's just control shift down arrow control shift four so for abiola david month of january to december is seven million five hundred thousand now when we come to the sql we have exactly the same scroll up okay we have exactly the same you know figure okay so this is essentially how we write select statements in sql and using the power query in excel to um pivot columns i hope you enjoyed this video if you do do be kind to subscribe to this channel share and like and comment because there's a lot to come thank you and bye for now Cheers.